Oh, it's rain! Have you ever wondered where the rain came from? Or how the, the clouds are formed? Well, this is the water cycle is all about. Come, let's explore! When the sun heats up the rivers and the oceans, water becomes water vapor. And it rises up in the air. This process is called evaporation. And it is the first step of water cycle. You too can see water vapor at home. When you heat some water, and as the water gets heated, you'll be able to see water vapor rising up in the air. And when the water vapor reaches up the sky, it turns into tiny droplets of water. The water droplets, along with the various gases and dust particles, come together to form clouds. This is known as condensation. Now, if you hold a cold lid over the vessel in which you heated water, when you open the lid after some time, you'll be able to see droplets on the lid. That's exactly what condensation is. When the clouds become too heavy and it cannot hold any more water inside, it burst out to give us rain, even hail or snow. This is known as precipitation. As it rains, water collected in oceans, lakes and rivers. It even seeps through the soil and becomes groundwater. That the water cycle is a continuous process of evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Trivia time! Did you know that even plants sweat? That is called transpiration. That is why it rains more in places with more trees, like hill stations and forests. Sometimes snow directly turned into water vapor without melting into water. That's called sublimation. This happens a lot in cold countries. Thank you for listening. This is Teacher Alpha. Hope you learn. Till next time. Bye bye. Subscribe for more videos.